Hi everyone, my name is Karina. I'm a Minnesota 4-H state ambassador and I'm here with another video for True Leaders in Service Month. Today, we will be talking about period poverty. And so we're gonna go over what it is, who it affects, um, different types of service that you can do within the like realm of period poverty. And so the definition of it is the lack of access to sanitary products, menstrual hygiene education, toilets, hand washing facilities, and or waste management. And so when looking into the research, one in five was a statistic that came up kind of a lot. And so like one in five girls miss schools due to a lack of period products. One in five have struggled to afford said products. One in five women can't afford period products on a monthly basis. And these are just like a couple examples of that statistic, but it really does come up a lot of times when looking into the research of this topic. And so when thinking of period poverty and who you know, um, this may seem like a really global issue or like it's outside of where we are, but this could also be an extremely pervasive issue within our communities. And so when thinking about this, like, are there any teen family and friends in your circle that may struggle with this? Adult family and friends. Are there any homeless shelters near you, food shelves, women shelters who would benefit from having uh, like a consistent period product supply or anything like that? And so thinking about that can help you kind of shape how you want to do a service project within this category. And so talking about service projects, we're also going to talk about like the four different types of service. So we have advocacy service where you're speaking up for the cause in order for someone, maybe like a higher up position to help do something, to help this community with this issue. There's direct service where you're directly interacting with the people or the environment within your service project. There's research where you're finding information to report on set topic to influence someone, maybe again of that higher up position to help do something. And there's indirect service where you are still like doing the service project, but you're not having that face-to-face -face interaction with the people or the organization that you're helping. And so creating reusable pads can be an example of both direct or indirect service. And it just depends on like how you're giving them away. But in your planted out packet that you maybe have received at blue, you receive at yellow. And I think there should be a link floating around for that. But in that, there is a link on like a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a reusable pad. And so direct service would basically be having that face-to-face uh, -face interaction. So you're like handing it to someone and you're having that personal interaction with them. And an indirect service could be like um, selling them on Etsy, creating them in bulk and donating it to like a food shelf or a homeless shelter or a women's shelter and having that place be kind of like the middleman. And so you're not necessarily having that face-to-face -face interaction with whoever might take the product, but you're still creating a very big impact. Another example of indirect service would be to buy from brands who give out. And so these are just a couple examples of brands who do, but you can always like buy from brands who give back. And so like if I bought uh, like products from This Is L, they have <clears throat> a statement in which they say that every product bought, they're donating something to someone who needs it. And so you're helping that way but again, you're not having that face-to-face -face interaction with whoever might receive that product. And for this one, donating money and or hosting a product drive, again, that could be indirect or direct service. And so direct service for like a product drive would be handing it out to the people who would be using it. And indirect would be like giving collected materials to that middleman or that middle organization and then having the people pick it up through them. And so you could either donate money to a cause that is already happening, to a drive that's already happening, or you could host a product drive, or you could host a different kind of drive, like a bake sale to collect money and then buy products and then like whichever kind of service you want to do and stuff like that.
And for advocacy, we have letter writing. So you can write to your local, state, and national representatives about period poverty within your community. Again, like we were saying earlier with those four examples, advocacy is to tell someone of like a higher position or of a different position than you about the issue within your community and asking if they can help or if you can work with them to help solve that issue. And last but not least, to participate within True Leaders in Service Month, first you are going to plan out the service activity within April. And so the plan it out packet, which is linked right there, has like a step-by-step -step guide of guiding you like how to um, plan a service project and what to keep in mind and helping you kind of figure out what you want to do in the end. Step two would be to implement your project and to actually do it. And so that could be creating a team, setting dates, like doing a project, working within your community to help your community. And then the third step would be to tell us about it at that link below. That would mean telling us like what the project was, what you did, um, who was involved, who did you donate to, how many did you donate, how many did you collect? And it just differs depending on what your project was. And so it really helps filling out that form if you are kind of noting that information as you're going through it. And number four is to continue serving. And so this is not, you're not only allowed to do service projects in April, they can continue into May if you wanna continue this project, or maybe you want to make it better or do like an annual thing or a monthly thing, whatever it is and however it can help your community, like feel free to do that and continue to serve. And so that is all I have for you today. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.